Hello, everyone. You're watching News Now from Fox. I'm Regina Gonzalez, joined right now by the founder of the Cooks Who Feed organization, Seema Sangavi, and award-winning chef Art Smith. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. How are you today? Great, thank you. A little chilly in Florida, but uh, of course, Seema, you're in Canada, so it's a, <laughs> this is like this is like spring. <laughs> yeah, there's snow here. <laughs> I can't imagine. We, we, yes. we feel like there's snow outside, but it's cool. Yeah. Oh, very cold temperatures, I know, Art. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Seema, I do want to start by asking you about Cooks Who Feed. You founded the organization. When did you start this and why? What is your mission? I started Cooks Who Feed early last year. And really what prompted me to do that is, you know, I've always been aware that obviously people are hungry and it's not, it's a, it's a problem that every, you know, you see everywhere, whether it's, you know, in the U.S., in Canada, overseas, every, every country faces some sort of hunger issue. Um, and I started learning about how much food, you know, how much we were investing, how much resources going into producing food that was ending up in a landfill because maybe it didn't look pretty enough or, you know, they couldn't sell it fast enough. And all this, you know, I'm talking about food that doesn't hit the table, food that grocers and farmers just, just you know, it ends up in the landfill and, and also which is bad for the environment. And I came across an article, I believe it was um, published by the UN, it stated something like the amount of food we waste could feed the entire world's hungry four times over. And when I read that, I thought, well, you know, we need to do something about it. And that's what kind of prompted me to start Cooks Who Feed. Now, when you started the organization, what was your first initiative? How did you go about letting people know about Cooks Who Feed? Sure. So we actually launched on Kickstarter. Um, I thought, you know, if we could create a product that if people purchase this product and then proceeds from that went to help these organizations, these charities on the ground that are rescuing the food and pro providing the food to people who needed it, then we could really be of, of service. So I actually reached out to an NGO in India that was hiring marginalized women um, to try to get them employed and out of poverty. And I said, hey, how about making aprons because food lovers, people who love food would appreciate this. And it makes sense to connect with people who love food so much that they would help feed those less fortunate. Well, we are joined by someone who loves food so much and helps feed people who love food so much. Tell me how you and Art met and how you are now working with award-winning chefs for your mission. So not a long story, right? <laughs> Art, um, I actually, I, I mean, I'm, I'm very well aware of the work that Art does and his, his charity, Common Threads. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to message him. I DM'd him over Instagram and said, hey, this is what I'm doing. And I would love to have you on board. And lucky for me, he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what was what was so, you know, kismet of the whole situation was, we didn't find this out till later, was um, I've always had a really strong relationship with Canada. Uh, I have a lot of fans in Canada. And I, my, I go there for book tours in Toronto. But I, I was very friendly with the mayor of Moncton, um, New Brunswick, um, and um, anyway, uh, uh, you know, mayor, the mayor there, and he had this wonderful seafood festival, and I always loved doing it. And we also one year um, we would go there, um, you know, every year. But one year I remember it was during the holidays, and um, Moncton has an incredible farmers market, and in the farmers market there's there's all this delicious, wonderful food. And a friend of mine, Lisa Gatro, said, you know my friend Seema. And I'm like, Seema, you remember at the market and they had the wonderful food. I'm like, oh my God, how, how kiss met. And so it's wonderful that we have like this, I mean, Moncton is like a long, long way up north. And talk about cold. When I was there for the holidays, they had a blizzard. But um, <clears throat> I saw what Seema was doing um, with the aprons, which I thought were great. Every chef, every cook wants a cool apron. And what was wonderful about Seema's project is, it, is that she was customizing these aprons according to chef's wills and everything. And you know, for me, I'm known for her chicken. You see the big chicken there, you see the big chicken there, you see right there. And um, her wonderful ladies there created this and with the colors and everything. Um, and then the great part about it was is that she enabled the sales, part of the sales of this to go to my not-for-profit Common Threads, it's commonthreads.org. And the whole basis of that program, it's 15 years old. Now, I think almost 16 now, uh, I feel like we've lost a year. And what it does is it teaches kids how to eat healthy 
um, by teaching them how to cook. And common threads throughout the whole COVID pandemic has been giving food and working with families to help feed them and also help teach them virtually. Um, and, and this is, and we, you know, when the rise comes, whenever the, whatever the, the event or whatever um, that needs to be done, that we do that, you know, <clears throat> as a chef, that's a title. What we do is we cook. What we do is we feed people. We nourish people. I think that every person who loves to cook wants to see someone well fed. Um, and I have seen things throughout this whole um, pandemic that I've seen people that were hungry. And this is something that's so, and the reality is, you know, someone could be hungry right next door to you and not even know it. Um, and, you know, I, I've been very extremely grateful and blessed with my work. You know, I have an incredible successful restaurant in Walt Disney World at Disney Springs, um, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, um, where we get people from all over the world. Um, and so to me, coming back, coming from a person that taught me this, what you give is what you get. Oprah Winfrey, my old boss, I mean, she just said, you know, it's important to give back, give back, give back. And this is my way of giving back. And thank you, Seema, for creating this wonderful apron program that enables, and what a great holiday present to have your own chef art chicken apron. <laughs> I love that. Well, exactly how you said it, this pandemic has put even more of a struggle and emphasis on finding your next meal for several children and families. So are you especially, how have you used your platform and your background to kind of spread the word of Cooks Who Feed? Um, well, the best way you can spread it is just by wearing the aprons. We wear the aprons, some people see them, they comment on them. It's got a wonderful little um, piece on it. If you go down here, if I'll raise it up, you see what it says for every apron, a hundred meals. Um, and it's just, it's really, really, really amazing. And um, so it's a, been a really great way. I mean, just by wearing and also talking about it. And um, a lot of people, you know, everyone is so, particularly now because people are at home, are very socially uh, media conscious more because they're at home and they're on their phones and in their Instagram and everything. So people, it's one of the best ways to get it out there is one, wearing it, two, putting it out on social media. And that's what we've been doing. Perfect. Now, Seema, you mentioned before that, and you know, Art as well, that the sale of these aprons also benefit other organizations around the world. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? For sure. Well, particularly with, with Art's apron, so we have, for every apron, you're obviously providing the 100 meals. You're reducing food waste because the partners that we have, they are collecting the surplus fresh food and using that to feed the hungry. You're empowering marginalized women who typically don't have an opportunity to, to, you know, to, to make their own money. So you're empowering these women. Plus with, Art, with Arts Apron, you're also supporting Common Thread. So it's, there's a lot of wins wins here. <laughs> How can people buy this apron? So they can buy it through our website, cookswhofeed.com. Perfect. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? If anybody can take away anything from this call, what do you want people to know? I would just say one of the greatest lessons that we're taught as children is to share your food. Um, it's probably the most valuable of all lessons is the, it's the sharing of our food. You know, I love to share dessert because I love dessert and then I won't eat the whole thing. But what about sharing your whole meal and understand? And one of the things I've been very careful about is express to my children. I have four adopted kids who are a handful and, and to express to them how it's important that we don't waste, but also that we share. And, um, and I think the act of sharing far exceeds anything. So everybody out there, share your food. Do what mama, grandma, auntie, whoever that person that was important in your life taught you that one great lesson. And the second one is the love, because to me, sharing your food is an act of love. So come on people, share your food and just be all in love. <laughs> Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for your time. You guys have both ha have a really, real. oh my goodness, I can't speak. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, Seema. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Chef.